Welcome to EDU AMP. Um, this is a GCSE physics lesson um, and it's all about atmospheric pressure. Now, I've just now explained to you what creates atmospheric pressure. You, lastly, you need to know why is air pressure decreased with height. So if you went, for example, uh, went to top of Mount Everest, um, you would find atmospheric pressure a lot less than it is on the surface of the Earth. Now, on the surface of the Earth, as I mentioned before, it's about 100,000 newtons per meter squared, but it does decrease with height going upwards. Well, why? Well, if you look very carefully here, you can see lots and lots of air particles. Do you notice at the top, there's less air particles around because the density of all the air or less particles decreases. Doesn't that make sense? There's going to be less force, i.e. less collisions of these particles hitting the walls. Therefore, that makes sense. Then the pressure has to go down. When you're lower down towards the surface of the Earth, can you see here now the density is going to be greater because you've got more particles there. Therefore, the pressure must increase. You can also look at it and the idea, the fact you've got more weight air of air above you, therefore greater force, therefore the pressure increases. Very similar to when you think if you had um, in liquid, that the fact in liquid water, pressure increases with depth. Therefore, what we did is beforehand, you had to, your pressure equals height, height multiplied by your density, multiplied by gravity. Therefore, if you've got a greater weight above you, you're going to have a greater pressure, very similar to liquid pressure. 